Hi everybody, welcome back to the Prepare Pathfinder. So what I'm going to do today is a quick kit review and what I'm going to be talking about is this Pat Attack off the grid mounting shawl. Right then, so Pat Attack, um, they're an Australian based company, they make some really quality kit, they make rucksacks, bergens, um, bashers, clothing, stuff like that. Really great company, some good quality kit. Um, however, they're based in Australia and up until recently they haven't had a UK uh, retailer, not that I'm aware of anyway. Um, so recently uh, a UK based company called Luminate, which is a veteran owned company, have become their retailer and they've started stocking not all their gear but just a few of their items. So they're starting to kind of drip feed some of their kit in, um, some quite interesting stuff and this is one of the things that they've recently stocked. Um, so this was 55 quid off Luminate, off their website and I found their customer service was really good and they were really quick actually in delivering the kit to me so thumbs up to them good effort. So talking about the actual jumper itself then, um, this is made from a grid fleece, so obviously the name of the, 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 the item is the off the grid mounting shawl so it's a bit of play on words there. And this, um, this grid fleece, really nice, really comfortable against your skin. You could wear it without anything underneath, or you could wear it, you know, over the top of a base layer. But what it does is it helps trap the air in between the garment and your body. And the other thing it does is it helps moisture evaporate and escape away from you if you like overheat as well. So on the top here, then, you've got a bit of an unusual collar. You see the grid there on the back. Um, and that, that's quite nice. You can kind of bring it up against the back of your neck and stuff underneath a smock and uh, it helps keep the warmth in a little bit. Um, the top here you've got a couple of buttons so the old um, Canadian style big buttons there like quite standard on most uniforms nowadays and on the inside you've got the label there so the Platisat label telling you what it is and as you can see there that's uh, extra large. Um, on the front of the jumper here then what you've got is like a kangaroo style pocket so you can stick your hands in there, keep your hands nice and warm. Uh, you stand around waiting for transport or something, flipping in the rain, keep your hands nice and warm, stick them in there. And also on the sleeves then, what you've got at the base of the sleeves there is your thumb loop at the bottom there. So you can take it over your hands, put your thumb through there and it will keep sort of like the back end of your hand nice and warm. So it's quite a nice lightweight sort of mid weight layer. Um, on the bottom what you've got is like a, a, a sort of light elasticated effect as well so it'll help keep the, the item close to your body and help keep the warmth in and you can see there this is the, the Plat Attack logo just printed on the bottom left there. Right so that's me wearing the off the grid fleece here as you can see it's quite a nice sort of fit it's not too tight, it's not too baggy, I think it's quite a good fit and the sizing of it is quite good as well. So I normally go for an extra large and this actually fits me properly as an extra large should. Um, how I see this, this is a little bit like the, uh, the Norwegian jumpers that used to be quite popular in the late 80s, early 90s. I think they were quite popular with the Marines and stuff like that in Norway. Um, but this is like a more modern take on it, so it's a slightly more lightweight, more modern take on a Norwegian jumper. So on the top here you can see that collar, you can see I've got that it's kind of folded down and you can kind of fold it up like so over your neck and if you had a smock on over the top of this it'd help hold it up, give you a little bit of warmth around your neck there. Got the buttons at the top here and then at the bottom there you've got your kangaroo pocket. On the sleeves then you've got that thumb hole I was talking about, you just whack your thumb through there. And that will help keep the back of your hand warm on your palm. If you put some gloves over there, you're not going to get any sort of breezes or you know drafts up into your jacket there. So it might help keep you nice and warm. Okay, so that's just a quick review of the Platter Sack off the grid fleece. Uh, hopefully that's been useful for some people out there. Uh, like I say, quite a nice mid-weight, lightweight sort of layer. Um, great for wearing and if you smock wash, you're still sort of doing activities and stuff like that. Um, I did this review partially for a friend of mine who runs Outdoor Basics on YouTube, Stuart. Um, unfortunately, they didn't stock this item in his sizes. They didn't do kid sizes at the time. So uh, this is just screwed it up a little bit for him. 
But if you want to get one of these, these are available on Lumine, uh, as I said, for 55 quid. So, if you like what you've seen today, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.